9937, chatting now to Beck from the Perth Institute of Contemporary Arts. Now, Beck, tell us about your show, Hatched. Yes, Hatched is the... Doing a radio interview is a great way to let people know exactly what exhibitions are currently running. It's an opportunity to provide a background of the work and the artists involved. I'm always amazed at the way an artist can stimulate your imagination with new ideas and different ways of viewing the world. As long as I can remember, I wanted to be an artist. Growing up, I used to visit art galleries with my father, and I think this was a really big influence. Working as an artist and managing a gallery also gave me the skills to apply for the position of exhibitions coordinator. I like the job because it combines both my art and administrative skills in managing the exhibition programs. Hi Trevor, hi it's Beck calling from Pika here. I'm always on the phone talking to freight companies and customs agents. Hi Jonathan, yep. um, that was just uh, Chess Wilson on the phone then. Um, I have heaps of inquiries from artists so I need to be very well organised. Emails, applications, catalogues and invitations. Hey David, how's the mail like going? Uh, we're about halfway through. It's important that exhibitions run to schedule and that freight arrives on time. I only have about a week to install a new show, so I'm usually flat out. Jonathan, have you yep. seen Brad? He's downstairs. Exhibitions vary and sometimes involve different ideas or media, so I'm always on the lookout for anything that's new or really innovative. Hatched is the largest exhibition of the year at Pika. It's an opportunity for emerging artists to show their work usually for the first time. The participants are all art school graduates from universities and learning institutions from across Australia. I also train and manage a small team that prepares and installs the artwork. Hi guys, I'm just wondering how you're going with installation now. Yeah, a bit of a patch and paint upstairs on the floors maybe. Nearly opening time and I think we're on track. Some artwork is very complex and can take several days to set up. I usually request a plan that describes how the artist wants their work installed. Just looking at the gallery spaces, I think we were kind of deciding on um, Gallery 2, Steve. Yeah, you? Gallery 2. It's slightly a darker space. We wanted to work with stereo sound now, so we wanted to speak to you about um, speakers. Five amps with that as well. Mm, yeah. What we wanted to do is actually just have a pair of speakers behind um, each of the pods. You happy with, with this? We won't do them. I also work closely with the publicity and marketing officer. Together we come up with ideas that promote Pika and the exhibition programs. I love writing, so creating text for catalogues and brochures is very rewarding. I also write articles for magazines and newspapers. A significant portion of our exhibitions are from interstate, so I occasionally travel to see what's out there in terms of new art forms and exhibitions. Sometimes Pika collaborates with other galleries so we can be included as part of a national tour. Welcome to the Perth Institute of Contemporary Arts. There are 68 artists in this exhibition and nearly 40 of them are here tonight. To become an exhibitions coordinator, you need management skills and a good understanding of art, art history and theory. I completed a fine arts degree at uni, but TAFE also offers art courses that can help to develop your skills and gain the qualifications you need to begin your career. Once an exhibition is completed, it's change over time, with stacks of freight to be transported and new artworks to be installed. So, for a week anyway, the show is over. <laughs>